Ooh. That's a little bit rude. What? Oh, did you see what Zorn's tag is? No. He's calling someone out. People acting like children on Facebook. Nothing to actually worry about. Oh, is it the same tag from earlier? I didn't see what the tag from earlier was. So probably, yes. Knowing Zorn, probably. <laughs> yeah, whatever. Be excellent to each other, people. Yeah. All right, round one here of Losers Finals. Ice Arrow versus Zorn. I think there's an actual reason he went Yoshi, like Greninja has a bad matchup against Toon Link or something, I don't know. Um, I mean, he did lose to him in winner's semis uh, with Greninja. Uh, 2-0, and it was absolutely because Greninja could not handle the projectile spam coming from Toon Link. Yeah. He Yoshi, just didn't Yoshi really can, have approach options. Yoshi can use super armor on the jump. The eggs are weird angles, so you can't just wall them out easily. Yep. So, yeah. I mean, Sheik is always an option. Ice Arrow does always have a Sheik, but uh, he's doing quite well with Yoshi right now. What the hell? <laughs> <laughs> Nobody's allowed to do well with Yoshi. What well, is no, this? Yoshi and all those characters were like on release. Yoshi was like considered by some to be top tier just because not because it was like anything disgusting like she can do with the F tilts or like Diddy Kong Shua, but literally just because all of his moves had pretty good frame data. Yeah, he's still really good. He's kind of in the same place as Melee Yoshi where he's like usable, but he has certain. I feel like he's in a better spot than Melee Yoshi. I mean, he's usable. He's just not used by. He's used by about as many people as Melee Yoshi is the problem. Right. Um, but, like, he just has weaknesses that make it that he'll never be top tier. Like, his lack of recovery will always gimp him forever. Okay. Super Armor's a pretty good recovery. Yeah, but it doesn't do the distance is the problem. Like, he's too easy to wall out. There's uh, Zorn with that uh, hit confirm forward smash. Oh! <laughs> and Ice Arrow pops off. Okay. The mid-match pop-off. <laughs> all right. The true disrespect. All right, all right. Counters with a forward smash. We back and, to zero zero. And Zoran's significantly more respectful. <laughs> things I would not expect myself to say. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh. I, I have expected to just ruin everything by dying afterwards. Yeah. Yeah. See, that's what I'm talking about. Is like the offstage game is so important in, in Smash Four. And it's just so hard to do with Yoshi. You but you can. I, I feel like you can. It's you get one jump, one nair or fair, and then you got to jump back. That's it. But you no, have he, one he opportunity. Got, he got both. He, caught him with, he went with the fair on the way down, then caught him with the nair on the way back up. The fair forced him to go low. I mean, that's true. I mean, I guess you can swing during the up jump. Well, no. This was he swung on the way down and then naired on the way up. Which means he got to cover the dunk option and then he was to cover back. Did he just bomb catch and up air? What was that? All right, run up, up, smash. We fox in here. 20XX Yoshi. With the Akuma pose. So good. I missed it. Did you already update the score thing, or is it? I complete. I was just amazed. Yeah. Too amazed by the Yoshi. I forgot if it was 1-0 or 2-0. No, it's 1-0. Okay. That was round one. Round one. See, I understand why people would do a Mega Jungle hijinks. I just really like the Mega Man theme. Yeah, that's true. You're getting called out by Entarps and Sepco, saying you don't know nothing about Melee Yoshi. See, there's more than one person in the world who currently plays Yoshi. <laughs> First match four. <laughs> uh, anyway, game two. Ice Arrow, like, kind of really, this was an excellent counter pick for him in terms of character. Like, he is kind of tearing Zorn apart right now. He's got the download, he's learning the matchup, and this is going completely differently from the way that their match went when they fought in winner's semis. Like, this is pretty much polar opposite. Oh my goodness, the stage tunks. Oh my god, the bounce into the up air. All right. Yeah, no, Ice Arrow is really taking a commanding position in this match right now. Oh, almost oh. with the shield break. Too. Yeah, almost with the shield break. That's another thing is that Yoshi got pretty decently uh, buffed by this patch because he does 
so many options for just obliterating shields. Down air and down B are both so dangerous to shield. Like, especially down air, because you can't Ooh, even power shield. Ooh, what did oh. you even hit him with? I think that was up air. I think that was like the first hit of up air. Okay, come on. <laughs> Alright. Uh, Ice arrow up two stocks to one. 74 damage, not going to be enough to kill a Yoshi. Yoshi's decently heavy. Yeah, see here, we're running into the same problem for Zorn that he had Ooh, versus Atari. Ooh, the footstool into where, bomb. Yep, Sorry. Uh, Continue. Where you, uh, like, even though Toon Link's grab, nice forward smash, uh, even though Toon Link's grab isn't the greatest, and even though getting caught, like, doing it and whiffing is very dangerous, you need to be throwing it out at least, like, once a match to keep people on their toes so they can't just shield against you constantly. Bad dead lag only matters if you don't get the connect. Yeah. Um, but Ice Arrow is just running up and shielding at this point, and then up smash, that'll do it. Yep. Look at, like, Fox up in here. All right. Ice Arrow now up 2-0, going into game three. But, yeah. You gotta be throwing out those grabs, like even as even as lip service, just to keep him aware of the fact that you have a grab, because mm -hmm. Ice Air is just gonna block all day, all day, forever. Mm -hmm. oh, especially at kill percents. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. Uh, actually, no back throw on Toon. Is it back? Is it wait? Is back throw only good on regular Link? No, Toon Link has the back throw kill. Okay. I mean, it's not super great, but it is a kill throw. I mean, you Sonic at him. You just spin around, you kick him, they die. Yep. Something that effect. All right, Battlefield for game three. Not particularly sure what Zorn is going for here. Maybe hoping that the platforms are giving him a little bit of an umbrella to avoid eggs. Because um, Yoshi has been cleaving him off the top this entire set. Oh, so, that's the big reason then. Higher ceilings. Yeah, but there's the top platform. So, like. So don't kick on the top platform. <laughs> yeah, I guess. You have disjoint. Honestly, Yoshi should. I feel like Yoshi should be more concerned because um, I feel like Toon Link has better disjoints. I mean, okay, yes. Both. That's true, but Yoshi also has super armor, so... Oh. No. Well, are you really going to be using your super armor while sitting on the top platform? That's true. I guess we will see. Ice Arrow is also doing an excellent job of uh, reading Ooh. Zorn. Oh, that was so close. He was so smart. Um, he's do been doing an excellent job of reading a lot of Zorn's usual tactics, things like his up tilt strings, mm -hmm. which he hasn't been able to land, which he would be able to on Yoshi. Yoshi's decently heavy. Pretty even percent right here. Up see, air, do see. It. Using the disjoint through the platform, get a kill yep. off the top. I mean, he's in a very dangerous position right now. 154 damage. Like freaking anything that Yoshi does will kill him. Look at that. That was Nair. Mm. I still say in situations like this, you can just play super safe and wait for them to overreach, just trying to finish you off because you're at a high percent. Oh, absolutely. Like, Toon Link wants this situation. He wants this scenario because he wants to just be running and throwing bombs, but... Actually, I thought Toon Link liked going in. Uh, he can. He wants to either be at going in range or super long range, one or the other. He doesn't ever want you to be in the middle, where mm. you could, like, easily run in and punish a bomb pole. Ooh. That was, that was awkward, that... With yeah. Zare for the ledge. I've always been told it's like for Link, you want them to have to approach you, and for Toon Link, you want to be approaching them. Yeah. See, that right there, what just happened, was an absolutely perfect scenario where Zorn should have gone for the grab, not the forward smash connection read. Because um, he, even though he didn't complete forward smash, he still got punished out of shield, um, and Ice Hero just got completely free damage because he could just shield with complete impunity. So Zorn, when you're watching these matches later, you got to throw out a grab at least once a match, even if it whiffs. Ooh! The dunk. That'll do it. That's the swift 3-0. 30 in the handshake. All right. Ice Arrow running it back.